Hey guys and welcome to another PUBG guide. In this one we'll take a look at all the jumps that the pros use in both public games and competitive games while they're playing in Pachinki. The jumps are not only something interesting and cool to see, but they're also pretty useful. At least most of them. This guy will not only help you master Pachinki, but all the places where these buildings appear. Let's go. Alright guys, let's start for some well-known basic jumps and then we'll move on to a bit more trickier, lesser known jumps. Just a side note, you're gonna see me use different names for different buildings. If you want to know more about callouts in PUBG, you should check out my PUBG callouts video that is in the top right corner right now. So the first jump is the tier 3 building roof jump. The key to this jump is knowing how to be consistent. Here's how you do it. So you get up on the railing and then you try to get as close to the bottom left edge of the door as you can. The sign that you're in the right spot is when you realize that you're a little bit stuck. After that, all you have to do is jump straight up and then vault on the roof. We all know that you can jump from the three-story roof to the Taliban building, but how often does this happen to you? It is crucial that you jump as late as possible in order to avoid hitting the raised edge mid-flight. While we're at it, let's see how you can go back from the Taliban building to the third floor window of the three-story building. It took me a while to try to find a good way to execute this jump with 100% consistency because if you go straight from the roof to the window, you typically fail. The secret here is to make an approach at a 45 degree angle and then just do a normal jump onto the window. From the same spot, we can also do a very useful jump from the Taliban roof to the second floor of the mansion building. All you have to do is run on the edge of the roof and without jumping, just fall onto the window. Here's where things get really spicy. This jump will allow you to get on almost every roof in Pachinki. It's very important that you get it perfectly and it's not an easy jump. The mansion is one of the most common buildings in Pachinki, so you're gonna be using this jump a lot. You start off by going to the balcony and jumping on the railing, then you sprint straight for about half a second, leading you to a strafe jump holding WNA. If your jump was successful, all you have to do is look up and vault. You can do this jump for both sides, but I recommend you use the inner side because it's easier to escape in case of trouble. Sometimes you can get a bit stuck once you jump on the door, so all you have to do is press crouch and uh, maybe move a little bit. After that, you can vault normally. If you wanted to have the best view in Pachinki, here's how you get it. You do the roof jump on the closest mansion to the two big white buildings. And after that, you just jump straight onto the big white roof. The two big whites are basically connected, so you have no issue going from one to the other. A great spot to catch your opponents off guard is the flat top two-story roof. Again, you do the match roof jump and then straight up to the flat top roof. Oh wow, another jump from the mansion roof, who'd say? To get to the tier 3, you have to run on the edge and jump towards the tier 3. You can also do it by bunny hopping, but in this case it's not necessary. Later on we'll take a look at another bunny hopping jump. A great underrated jump is this crouch run from the mansion roof to the mansion second floor. I can guarantee you that this one will get you a lot of kills if you put it into your repertoire. All you have to do is aim for the window, crouch and sprint. I call this jump the hold my beer jump that everyone fails. It looks easy, but you need to know exactly what you're doing. The technique here is, again, to use about 30 degrees angle. That way you make sure you don't hit your head and just fall down. Another very powerful jump is from 2nd floor Taliban to 2nd floor mansion. 
Here's when we use bunny hopping to carry the momentum from the first jump to the second one. We bounce off the railing. This one takes a little practice, but it's great for aggressive play. This one and the next one are probably the hardest jumps in Pachinki. The garage roof jump is pretty similar to the mansion roof jump. It's just that it's a bit longer and a bit harder to hit overall. All you have to do is do a strafe jump and then just vault up. All right, in order to execute this one, you have to hit the best crowd jump through a window of your life. To go from the third floor straight to Taliban, you need to maintain the momentum of your jump while you're going through the window. This jump requires a lot of skill, but also a lot of luck. Last but not least, a little bonus jump. If you happen to have a car and you're close to the grandma house, you can put the car next to the back door and then just jump on a car and straight onto the roof. It's a neat trick, especially for late game. Alright guys, hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, and of course, let me know what you think of the video in the comment section below. Hopefully this video reduces the amount of campers in Pachinki that we see these days. Thanks for watching guys, don't miss the live action on my stream at twitch3.spreezy. See you in the next video.